Hi, my name is Ernesto Cisneros, and I am the author of the middle grade book, Ephraim Divided. Ephraim Divided is a story about a 12-year-old boy whose life is turned upside down when his mom is deported, leaving him to fend for himself and for his little younger brother and sister in hopes that a mom will soon be reunited with the family. Uh, the story is a very timely, relatable piece. Um, I think especially right now with the whole shelter at home crisis that the world is facing, I believe there's a lot of anxiety and fear. There's so many kids out there who don't know when they're going to be going back to school, when they're going to be able to see their friends again, or when they're going to be able to just visit loved ones. Um, sadly, for kids like Efren, this is actually part of the norm. Anytime that a ma goes out to the supermarket for something as simple as groceries, or when a pa goes out to go to work, uh, the kids are left at home wondering if this is the night that the parents aren't going to be returning. They're left at home wondering if this is the night when they're going to be separated from their families. So again, with everything going on, I believe the book is very, very timely and very relatable. Um, one of the challenges that I set forth for Effort in the story was that I wanted him to come to the realization of uh, how important his education was to him. Uh, something that I learned from my parents growing up was that if I truly wanted to change the trajectory of future generations of my family, the best thing I could do was to get an education and that that would have a more, more uh, greater impact than anything else I could do. And uh, so for anybody out there who's experiencing the same type of thing, uh, same type of pressures to provide for your family, just remember that education is power. Um, it's part of the reason why I encourage kids to also be very vocal. If there's something out there that you feel very passionate about, uh, speak out. I, I really believe that the world is filled with wonderful people and people who are willing to to help, but sometimes people just aren't aware of, of different problems going on in the world, and your voice provides awareness. And uh, you can't fix something if you don't or if you aren't aware of it. Um, for kids like who are experiencing things like Efren and and the whole uh, social distancing and their schools being closed and the anxiety. Uh, something that helps me a lot is writing. Um, it's very therapeutic. It's a great way for me to escape, uh, for me to process my thoughts. Um, I really encourage you guys to keep a journal at home, um, to pay attention to what you see, to what you hear, uh, especially what you're feeling inside. And uh, last but not least, I hope this message uh, inspires a few of you out there. So stay safe, stay happy. And uh, thank you for watching.